All right, guys. So I haven't done this in a very long time. So I hope I remember how. But I'm going to crack this Roy Campanella out of here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, a big, long scratch. Runs along the, the bat there and through his arm. And it really, you know, takes away from the look of the card. And not only that, but um, this slab's kind of junk because it has a two. And two slabs are junk. So you really don't need the slab. I mean, nobody wants a two on their card, right? So what I like to do, there's joints here. And I like to crack them on both sides. You know, some people just do one side, but I like to be extra careful. Ooh, there we go. Then when you crack it there, just kind of work it around. I spend a little more time up front. That way the card just kind of pops out. There we go, that should do it. Maybe not. I'm out of practice. Well, those are going flying everywhere. If you ever do this, you should wear glasses. All right, let me get this. I guess I need a screwdriver. Oh, there we go. Is that popping? Don't try this at home. There we go. All right. That hopefully does it. Oh. Looks so much better now. Look at that. That's a baseball card, people. I know many of you have not touched one, but that's what a baseball card looks like. Let's put it in one of these. There you go. No scratches. No scratch there. Very nice. Very nice. And I don't have to look at that stupid two. I get some of these pro mold. I think this might fit. I have a sleeve for everything. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. Now this one won't scratch either. Or won't scratch too, I should say. The other one scratched. Okay, that was a bad job there. There we go. 1952, Roy Campanella freed from that tomb with a two on it. See, this one, this one doesn't have any number on it. I kind of prefer that. 